Hi everyone, Lucas Cost here with Shaft Tools and welcome to part two of this video series on how to carve a wood spirit. So today we'll be covering refining the nose and the eye mounds and the brow ridge and forehead and we'll start to see the face come to life a little bit more. So I'm excited to get started. Let's jump right into it. All right, now these are the five tools we'll be using today. From left to right here we have the 20 millimeter number three and the 10 millimeter number 12. Now these are both from the set of seven. And here we have the 11 three millimeter and the nine 10 millimeter. These are both from the set of 12. And here we have the small fishtail gouge, the 3F six millimeter from the fishtail set of four. All right, so our next step is to bring the tip of the nose forward from the nostril flares. So I'll start by drawing in these sort of semicircular C shapes to indicate the nostril flares, just like this. And then I'll also outline an area for the tip of the nose that I want to have coming forward. Now I have the 10 millimeter number nine here, this U-shaped gouge, and I'm gonna use that to go around and follow the circular shape that I have drawn out for the tip of the nose to bring it forward even more and have that nice rounded shape. We're going for a rounded shape for the, the tip of the nose. You can notice here how I'm using my left hand to do the fine articulating work and I have it anchored to the piece, right? So I'm able to finely articulate it with between my thumb and forefinger and having my hand anchored to the piece. And then I can articulate the tool sort of from left to right like this and forward with my right hand. So all of the fine control is from anchoring the left hand and using the thumb and forefinger to guide the tool. All right, now that we have the tip of the nose separated from the nostrils, I'm gonna use this 3F six millimeter. It's the flatter of the two uh, small fishtail gouges. I like it for small detailing work. And we're just gonna round off the tip of the nose with small cuts to take that hard edge off and have it more of a smooth, rounded shape. All right, next we want to draw in the nostril flares. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, trying to keep them looking symmetrical. Okay, now to carve the nostril flares, we're gonna use the three millimeter number 11, and we're gonna do a challenging cut now the technique here is to, again, anchor with your left hand and as you follow that pencil line with your cut with your right hand, you're going to want to pivot or like swing the tool from starting at about this angle and you swing it up as you do the cut in order to follow that pencil line. So here's what that looks like. Like that, and then come down. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, doing this big cut where the tool sweeps around, changes the angle like that. Now the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is round off these hard edges that we just created, just to smooth things out and my favorite tool to do that is, again, this uh, 3F six millimeter small fishtail gouge. And so we'll remove the material on the high side of this cut, kind of flattening things out so that the high side of this cut is more level with the cheek. And that also helps to bring forward the nostril a little bit from the cheek, which is a good thing, it creates the impression of depth. Another great way to hold the tool for finer details like this is literally like a pencil. So 
between the uh, forefinger and middle finger and the thumb. I don't need to teach you how to hold a pencil. I'm assuming you know how to hold a pencil. So it's exactly like that. And then I'll anchor my pinky or my hand uh, on the piece. And that really allows you to articulate the tool with a lot of precision. On this side, the same thing. Bring down the high side of the cut, flush with the face, and also rounding off this nostril flare to eliminate all the hard lines that we made with the 3mm number 11. All right, now our nose is starting to look a little more nose-like, and the next thing we're gonna do is get the nostrils in there. And again, with the three millimeter number 11, I'm gonna hold it like I'm holding a pencil and just sort of do a little scoop in here. Try to take more material on the lower side, like you can see that I've actually taken some material away from the mustache here. I would rather, you know, err on the side of, um, taking more away on the lower side rather than um, risking taking too much away from the actual nose itself, right? So if you have to go into the mustache a little bit to carve down and get that nostril in there, that's okay. But we wanna try to stay away from taking too much material away from the nose itself, so. And then the same thing right here. All right, now the next piece to tackle is the forehead and the brow ridge. So I'll draw in an area where I think the eyebrows will go. Okay, what we're gonna do next is using the 10 millimeter nine, we are going to basically remove all of the material surrounding this area for the eyebrow that we've drawn in so that the eyebrows are elevated forward. And I'll do that starting usually in between the eyebrows. And just, you know, not going in too deep, just a couple millimeters here, just to get a little bit of elevation for the eyebrows. This is another useful tip on holding the tool. So in this area, I wanna use quite a lot of force, but I also wanna have a lot of control and one way to do that is I'll anchor my left hand and leave my thumb available to both control, but also to oppose the motion of my right hand. So I'm using a lot of force with my right hand, um, but I'm actually opposing that force a little bit with my left thumb, and that also sort of allows me to articulate the tool around. So it gives you a good combination of power and control at the same time. All right, now again, following this pencil line for the eyebrow that we've drawn, and just removing the material on the surrounding areas of the forehead. And we're also gonna use, any kind of flat gouge will work really. I've got the number three right here, and I'll just kind of level out the, the rest of the forehead to sm smooth things out. All right, next we want to eliminate the hard lines, rounding off with, again, this three number three fishtail gouge. And we are really removing a very, very small amount of material. All right, the last thing we're gonna do today is get a little bit more depth underneath um, this eye mound. There's, there's really a lot of depth in here, especially in the corners, in the interior corner and the lateral corner. So we're gonna get just a little bit more depth in here. We're gonna start this with the nine 10 millimeter. And again, using this technique where I anchor my hand and I use my thumb to both guide and oppose the motion um, of my right hand, which is where the power is coming from. And we're going to just do one more pass underneath here on both sides. And I'm not trying to get into the corners with this tool. We'll, do, we'll use a different tool for that. 
And now we want a bit more depth in the interior corners here. And we're gonna use the number 11, three millimeter to do that. It's got a much skinnier profile, so it makes it easier to get the depth in the corner here. And we're gonna cut up to the corner, and then we're gonna come back down to clip, remove the material sort of away and clean the cut up a little bit. Now, same thing on this side. We're gonna go in and get the depth from the underside, but we're not gonna worry about making it clean yet because we make it clean by coming from the top side like that. Now that I'm happy with the depth here, we're just going to smooth out these hard lines. I'm using the number three, 20 millimeter. And I'm also going to just try to round this eye mound a little bit. Okay guys, that's a wrap for part two of this video series on how to carve a wood spirit. Uh, stay tuned for the next video uh, in part three where we are going to learn how to carve eyes. Um, we'll see you in the next one.